the forehead of your robot. Sometime in 2000, Nickelodeon created the tape. This is shown in the copyright information during the beginning of the tape. April 26, 2001. The 2B employee and four of his friends were wandering the streets of Kelowna late at night. Keep in mind, him and his friends were only around 15 years old at the time. One of his friends stumbled upon a VHS tape labeled, Confidential Tape. If found, return to address. They decided to take the tape home and watch it the next day. April 27, 2001. The tape began with the SpongeBob intro, however it was heavily distorted. The audio barely synced up with the video. The scariest part of the intro was that halfway through, they stopped, and were replaced with sobbing, which eventually turned into a manic laughing. After the intro ended, the tape briefly turned to static. Afterwards a completely red title card appeared. It read the following. Confidential tape number 81. The videotape you are about to watch should not be viewed outside of Nickelodeon. Copyright, Nickelodeon Incorporated 2000. By now, one of the teens had set up a camera pointed at the TV. The episode then began. It started with SpongeBob flipping patties, as he normally does. Krabs then asks for a single Krabby Patty. Almost immediately, SpongeBob started screaming, as if he was in a life-threatening situation. The screen then turns black briefly, before showing Squidward laughing happily. It then zooms out to see that he is laughing at the sight of SpongeBob's grave. A disgustingly realistic, zombie version of SpongeBob then busts out of the ground in front of the grave with a knife. He then attempts to stab Squidward, but it quickly transitions to black. Then an eerie sound starts playing. Slowly, a faceless SpongeBob fades into the scene, with subliminal messages reading things like, kill, and, trust, flashing on the screen. The eerie sound continues for over a minute, before the black background behind SpongeBob turns into the end credits background, with a distorted version of the credits music. Around half a minute later, it suddenly turns into loud glitches. One of the teens tries to remove the tape from the TV, however it wouldn't work. The teens eventually left the house. The glitches continued for over two hours, before one of the teens' dads took a photo of the glitches and unplugged the television. April 28, 2001. Two of the five teens had identical dreams about violently murdering their entire family with a knife that SpongeBob gifted them. June 3, 2001. One of the teens suddenly had a flashback to the episode. He died of a stroke minutes later. June 4, 2001. One of the teens committed suicide. July 1, 2001. Two of the teens became murder victims on vacation to France. March 29, 2019. The last remaining teen got hired by Nickelodeon. He said that the interviewer's mood suddenly changed from neutral to somewhat angry, as soon as they were told about the incident.